I have a Yo Gavin, like a Yo Elliot video he used to be here with a question from a guy who's doing the liver, who's done the liver flush for three times and he's got a few questions. I'm going to read them to you and uh, give you an idea for what my answer is and what I told him here. His name is Kevin. He says, Gavin, thank you for your amazing videos about health. I did three liver flushes and I had some questions. How is it possible that inside my stones there is a grapefruit particle uh, from the juice I drank last night? And he, and he links me to a YouTube video which he shot showing the, uh, showing, the, showing the actual stones inside, cutting them open. And it's the same green, lime green stone particle, like lime green slime that's been in my stones in the past. And he says, before I was allergic to high fat products like cheese, milk, butter, and eggs. When I consumed too much of these products, I felt dizzy, blurred vision. Now all my problems are over. Did the flush work for me? Um, you know, were, were these all gallstones? Uh, he's think, he says he thinks some of the soft stones were from olive oil, and the, and, but some of the hard ones were gallstones. And wants to know what my opinion is about this. So let's, uh, let's go over this, Kevin. I'm really glad that you asked this. And cool video. I'll link it to the end here. Uh, I'll put a card in the video. You guys can watch it as well. Put it right up here if you guys want to watch his little st his story on him flushing out his gallstones. Pretty disgusting. So a little warning there. But I'm going to read you what John Hopkins University. First, I'm going to read you what John Hopkins University says about what gallstones are. He says he cuts them open and he thinks it's possibly olive oil or part of a grapefruit juice. What are gallstones from John Hopkins University? John Hopkins Medicine. Gallstones form when bile stored in the gallbladder harden into stone-like material. Gallstones form when bile stored in the gallbladder, bile is produced in the gallbladder, a little tiny little thing, hardens into a stone-like material. And that's what, that's what it is. Too much cholesterol, bile salts, or Bill Rubin, bile pigment, can cause gallstones. Gallstones that obstruct the bile ducts can lead into, into severe and life-threatening infections of the bile ducts, pancreas, and liver. Bile hardens inside the gallbladder, and it turns into this bile pigment. So it, it can appear to be the same color as olive oil, or maybe like a little bit looks like grapefruit juice, but it has absolutely nothing to do with that. All those things are doing are, you know, think of them like as a, as a lubricant. When the, when the grapefruit juice and olive oil goes inside, you know, it's passing through the body, all the digestive system, it eventually gets down into the gallbladder, the grapefruit juice and olive oil, and you've eaten nothing. If you've been fasting, your body's pure, it's clean, and then it just triggers the release of bile production. So by, more bile gets produced from the fat inside the olive oil and then helps it to, to slide out. So after doing liver flush, Kevin says he's also not allergic to dairy products like milk, cheese, butter. He used to feel dizzy and getting vision, uh, blurred vision. Now these are all gone. Did these work? Did it work for me? Absolutely, it definitely worked for you because you know your body, the liver is affecting all the blood circulation throughout the body. So your body is able to produce, able to blood circulating more throughout, better throughout the body, and your body is able to produce. Uh, more of the enzymes that it it needs and more oxygen throughout the cells. You know, the cells are healthier. So it's definitely help. But don't stop doing it. You know, because you've done three liver flushes doesn't mean you're done. You've got to do it until you've you've had no more gallstones two times. Um, one of the other things I want to mention is like some of the some of the symptoms for people that have gallstones, pain in the back, in between the shoulder blades, pain in the right shoulder, nausea, Vomiting, fever, chills, jaundice, like yellowing of the skin, abdominal bloating, intolerance from fatty foods. Because if you eat fatty foods, you could actually trigger gallstone attack if you have them. Belching or gas, disgusting. Indigestion. People are, who are experiencing this symptom should consult a doctor. If you trust a doctor, dead doctors won't lie though. <laughs> Sweating, chills. Low grade fever, yellowish color of the skin, or whites of the eyes, eh. clay colored stools, Ugh, yuck. So all these things are, are people that are having some serious gallstones. Now, you likely have gallstones, most likely do. I, I hate to make generalizations, but most everybody has gallstones, even young people, especially young people. 
Andres Moritz, the author of the book The Amazing Liver and Gallbladder Flush, he actually had gallstones as a kid in Germany. He was eating so much, so many hot dogs and hamburgers and greasy food all the time and just not exercising, being inactive, just having a bad life, you know, very unhealthy lifestyle. He was developing gallstones as a teenager. And that's how he discovered this process. His, his uncle was a leading iridologist. He looked into his eye. An iridologist looks into someone's eyes through some sort of a device and he can read the eyes. And he says, you have gallstones in your liver, my boy. My liver? Gallstones? That led him on this lifelong journey of trying to figure out how the, what the heck was going on. How we ended up here today. So you likely have them. And so these are all symptoms if it's like almost too late. You know, you're about to have a gallstone attack if you're getting any of those symptoms I just read. But if you're started on the journey already and you're, you're, you're doing the liver flush, like I'm going to be doing this Saturday on the new moon, okay, then be like Kevin. Start taking action. It's, it's the malic acid. I'm taking, that one, uh, usually I'm taking it once to two, one to two times a day or al- apple juice and then doing the liver flush on the new moon, making sure that my organs are all cleaned out. My guts are cleaned out beforehand, before and after. That's going to be colonics on the last, on the day of, and then say colonics on the day, two days after. Make sure. And just a disclaimer, I'm not recommending, making any recommendations to anybody. You got to take, you're, you're responsible for your own actions for this and always read the book or consult a professional, not some guy on YouTube. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know about professionals actually know, <laughs> know about this or they even want to talk about it because it's actually Get to the root cause of illness, bro. So, Kevin, great question. I appreciate it. Get a little bit of a tangent here. This is Gavin. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.